Hey folks, after a long, long night last night, things much quieter today, even with the rain showing up on the radar. It's primarily been in the far eastern part of the valley and one lone shower that's gone right up to the middle of that warning is moving to the north as well. But right now, things in the process of quieting down and hopefully things are not going to fire up again. We're watching down to the south and see nothing down there at the moment. A closer look, this is the flood warning that's in effect until 8.30 this evening. That includes Raymondville all the way down to Harlingen and back through Westlaco to Far. Uh, that area again under the warning until 8.30. The rest of Cameron County, Willacy County, Kennedy County, Hidalgo County, all under a flash flood watch until 7 o'clock tomorrow morning because there's still potential for stuff to fire up before the night is over with. But again, if you look at the last hour, everything that's in the valley moving out, little spotty stuff showing up over in Mexico, but for the moment things quieting down and the hope is it will stay that way. This is the last 24 hours and look at this mess. The valley just kind of disappears underneath it. Let me move to the other side and we'll watch this one more time as it goes through. He had stuff coming down from the north, stuff coming off the mountains to the west and it came together right on top of us. There's what's going through today. Not much left. So again, there's the northern stuff. There's the stuff coming from the west and kind of circled over the lower valley, in particular Harlingen up to about Sebastian and then began pushing out. And now it's been relatively quiet most of the day and then we see these streamers come up during the afternoon and hopefully that's it. But we'll keep watching. There's still a very warm atmosphere, very soupy atmosphere out there that favors the development of least scattered showers and maybe an isolated thunderstorm. All this stuff lining up on an upper air disturbance sitting right here. Not a particularly strong disturbance, but the atmosphere out there very, very moist and obviously very unstable late last night and into today. That disturbance slowly but surely moves away. And by tomorrow, it should be far enough away that we shouldn't have anything big. Could we have a brief shower tomorrow? Yes, a thunder shower possible, but for the most part, it's a drier day. That disturbance is gone for Thursday and Friday. Then another trough, this is called an inverted trough, makes its way westward across the Gulf late in the week and into the weekend. Don't think it means much for Thursday, Friday, even Saturday, but by Sunday, as it comes across the top of us, it'll open up the rain chances once again and give us a shot at some rain early next week. So future track for the valley says a pretty quiet night. Spotty showers, still a possibility through the late night, early morning hours. Watch your timeline. For the most part, it's a dry forecast with only spotty showers during the daytime tomorrow. I think after today, we're about done. So we're mainly dry tomorrow. A couple leftover showers, and we should be dry on Thursday and Friday. Here are your current temperatures. A couple of them have gone missing in the rain, 92 in McAllen, 82 in Brownsville, 85 in Edinburgh. Much cooler today because of the late batch of showers this afternoon. Mostly cloudy tonight. Temperatures bottoming out in the upper 70s and low 80s. Tomorrow, hot but not as hot as it was before all the rain. Mid 90s rather than upper 90s with southeast winds at 10 to 20. Average high is 95. We'll be below that tomorrow at about 93. But then we bounce back to 97 for Thursday. And again for Friday. So your first one five accurate with the forecast for tonight looks this way. Mostly cloudy, spotty showers, maybe a thunderstorm, but pretty isolated, not widespread, 79. And then tomorrow back up to 93, hot and breezy with very isolated afternoon showers. It's a mainly dry day. Brief shower can't be ruled out. Thursday and Friday look mostly sunny. So does Saturday. By Sunday, we bring in that slight chance for a shower thunderstorm once again as that inverted trough moves in our direction. That increases the rain chances once again. That's your updated First One Five, AccuWeather Forecast.